Guys, Chain Dart is insane. I'm not sure if you guys have played this class or not yet, but if you haven't, you have to try it out. I was always someone who stuck to more of the heavy armor classes. I wasn't really a big fan of the assassin classes, but this class is changing my ways. You can just rack up insane hero kills. Just to give you guys a quick example, I got 17 hero kills one game with this class, and that was a zero bot game. We were actually losing the game too, so it wasn't like we were just steamrolling the enemy team, we were actually losing. And the enemy team had five players, a five player stack from a pretty good house, and this is level 1000 plus sieges. So that should just give you guys an idea of how amazing this class can be in the right situations. I mean, I've never had a game like that in my entire time playing Conqueror's Blade. I've played over 1200 hours of this game, never had any game like that in my life. It was absolutely insane. So. You guys have to try this class out if you haven't already. I mean, please don't, because I don't want to die to you guys. But seriously, you just got to try it out. It's so much fun. Uh, anyways, I'm going to stop gushing about this class now. But in the rest of this video, I'm going to be going over these stats and skills for this class to give you guys a quick guide on how to build out this class and what to expect. I'm also going to go over the new seasonal runes to see what's new there. And then I'm going to commentate over some gameplay to give you guys some tips and show you how this plays in real games. All right, so let's go jump into the stats and skills for this class. Okay, for the stats and skills for Chain Dart, it's going to be relatively straightforward, although they do have some interesting skills. But for your stats, it's pretty straightforward. Just go 50% into Strength and 50% into Agility. Reason being, your skills scale both off Piercing Damage and Slashing Damage, so I just like to split those to split your damage between those. You'll also want the Armor Penetration for both Piercing and Slashing, so that's why you do a little bit of Strength as well as a little bit of Agility. So I would just recommend going 50-50. Let me know if you guys do a different build, if it works out for you. You can go more heavily into slashing if you really want, if you're more focused on single target damage, but I just kind of like having a mix of both so that all your abilities do a decent amount of damage and can get through armor effectively. So that's the stats. Let's hop into the skills here. So for Chain Dart, you're not going to be picking any of your skills. You're just going to have all of them here. So the main ability I want to talk about first is actually its ultimate ability. So that is Trap Prey, which is, I would say, a medium to long grapple ability, essentially. And it pulls you into them, as you can see in this little uh, video here. So you can use this on horseback to grapple an enemy hero like it shows here. You can also use this against enemy heroes to dismount them off their horse. So this is just a really good ability all around. It'll basically give them a mini stun while you fly to them. They're also slowed for three seconds. So your main combo here is a trap prey into this scorpion snare ability. So a scorpion snare will essentially stun lock them for a couple seconds. I think, what is it, two seconds here? I don't know, a couple seconds. And then you'll stun lock them there. And then after that, you can go into your slashing attack, your basic attack there. You can also go into your st stinging strike ability. This is generally more of your ranged attack ability, but you can use this if you want. Um, various of their various abilities are going to reduce the cooldown of their other abilities, so you'll kind of have to play around with that and see what works best for you in combat situations. But generally, you're basically going to use Trap Prey into Scorpion Snare, and then into your Leap and Slash, which is your main damage dealing slashing ability. And then from there, it's really just going to be using your basic slashing attacks or your out of range stinging strikes if you want to focus on multiple enemies for killing units or for dealing damage at range. So those are kind of the main damage dealing abilities that Chain Dart has. They work really well in combination with each other. They also reset or reduce the cooldown of each other. So using them all in combination with each other, you'll see their cooldown is actually a lot shorter than the 20 seconds it says usually. So they're off cooldown pretty frequently. Um, so you can just basically spam all their abilities. The last ability here is the Chain Dart's escape ability. Probably the best escape ability in the game as you get a little bit little bit of invulnerability. You'll also slow enemies in this uh, in this little smoke cloud it creates. So this is also good in team fight situations even. Um, so any enemies caught in that cloud are slowed by 30% for three seconds. So it's a good way to disengage if you're about to die. It's really hard for enemies to stop. So you can pretty much get out of almost any situation with this. It also can be used offensively, which I don't think a lot of people take advantage of. But let's say an enemy is trying to run away from you. You can actually use this to slow them down and get ahead of them if you know what where they're going to try to escape to. So this can also be used offensively as well as defensively. I don't think a lot of people take advantage of that with Chain Dart, but it is something I would recommend doing if you you're in a situation to do that. So yeah, and you can see that Stinging Strike, for example, uses piercing damage. Most of the other ones do slashing damage, but some of them do a little bit of piercing too. So you can see it's kind of a mix of piercing and slashing damage with this class. So again, that's why I do that stat build. But that's kind of the main points on these stats and skills for Chain Dart. Let's hop into the runes really quick. So these are going to be the Season 20 runes right now. 
Season Alexander for Chained Art. So the one I'm using is Trap Prey. This is really good. It just makes sure that you can actually go into Scorpion Snare. Um, it will basically make Trap Prey concuss enemies for two seconds. So what could happen in the past is you could use Trap Prey and there's kind of like a split second where enemies could kind of roll away or use escape abilities. But this basically makes that just not able to happen most of the time. So you'll render them concuss for two seconds and in that time you'll definitely be able to land your Scorpion Snare. So it just basically makes that combo uh, more consistent, which is nice. The other thing you can do is take Achilles Sorrow, so that just basically makes Stinging Strikes reduce the cooldown of Scorpion Snare even more. So this is more for if you want more of a sustained damage build, whereas the build I'm going for is better at securing you know, single target enemy hero kills. The one other thing I want to call out in regards to the seasonal runes is there is one rune I have not unlocked yet, but I am going to use at level 50. So this is really cool. So increases damage dealt to enemies with more than 600 slashing defense by 10%. So essentially the one problem Chained Art had in the past against really heavy armor classes, like especially Polax, short sword, long sword classes like that, you would actually sometimes just deal almost no damage because their armor was so high. So this basically mitigates that and makes Chained Art even viable against the really heavy armor enemy classes, or I believe that's the idea. I haven't tested this out in practice, but I believe that's basically what's going to happen is you'll now be able to actually deal at least some damage to heavy armor classes like that. Whereas before, sometimes you would be in a situation where their armor was so high you just did almost nothing. So I'm excited to try this out. I think it'll make Chained Art even better than it was before, which is kind of crazy to say because Chained Art was already S tier in my book. Um, but I'm excited to try this route out. So that is all these stats, skills, and new seasonal runes for Chained Art. Let's hop into some gameplay so you can see what this looks like in action. All right, so I got a siege match for you guys on Reginopolis here. So playing Chained Art. I'm trying to bring units that will basically help me be able to kill enemy heroes. The thing about Chained Art is you're never really going to want to go for the big blob fights like you might with other classes. You're really going to want to look for the dueling situations or where you can secure a kill or pick off an enemy hero who's out of position. It's probably one of the, if not the best dueling class, maybe outside of like Pike, which Pike can beat this class, so you don't really want to duel them. But most other classes, you can just destroy them because you can attack so fast with this class. You are very squishy, so you, you know you don't want to completely dive in. Like I'm gonna wait for these guys to charge in, and now I'm gonna hop off. I actually missed my attack there somehow. I'm not sure how I did that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stun lock this guy. That's gonna be a pretty easy kill for us to pick up here. So that's kind of what you want to do this class. Is just look for heroes out of position, take them out. Um, just a great assassin class. Really fun. You're gonna get a ton of hero kills with this class. Looks like they're attacking B, so I'm gonna try to get over here. Um, see if I can get a. I want to get a charge off with my iron caps if I can. I have the fully mastered iron caps. So they actually do pretty good damage. You're also really good at chasing out enemy heroes, like you can see. And then now that I see that I'm a little out of position, I'll just disengage, let my heroes, my other heroes, come in, and then help clean up now. Now that I'm in a little bit of a safer position, I have my guys to help me. Now I'll go in. I'll just try to kill this other chain dart that's uh, here if I can. Where'd he go? I think he died. Um, let's see if I can jump in, kill these two guys here if I can. I'm gonna use my range attack so I'm not too far into this fight. Oh, looks like I got a little too far in that fight and died from Mace Sergeant attack, I guess. So yeah, you are going to be very squishy, so just maybe don't do what I did there. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, I got a little too far there. I really wanted to pick up that kill on the mall, but I just went a little too far. I honestly thought my teammates were going to be a little closer to help me there, but just got a little bit overextended there. So yeah, avoid that. I'm going to pick up Prefecture Guards, though. This These guys will be much better than the Iron Caps because they can just stick to me. Um, just any unit with cover commander is going to be pretty good because they can just follow you around. You don't really have to worry about them too much. Um, you're going to be very busy microing your own hero, so you don't really want a unit that's too hard to micro yourself. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're picking a unit. Um, I'm going to see if I can go kill this bow hero. If I can get up there, I didn't see any enemy units, so this should be an easy kill unless he tries to jump off the tower or something. Uh, yeah, it looks like I missed him there, unfortunately. I was hoping... Oh, somehow my guys are getting killed. I need to go check on my units. Yeah, I'm just going to go back here and 
see what was attacking my guys. Um, looks like there's a red dot up here. I'm not sure. They might be in the tunnels, though. Yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing they're in the tunnels, I guess. <clears throat> Looks like another bow guy's up there. Um, if they're weak enough over here, I can go up there. I am just a little weary about doing that. It's... Um, i just be caught out of position if I go too far over there. This guy's out of position a little bit, though, so I'm going to see if we can kill him here. Nice. So you see how easy it is to just... Anytime an enemy hero goes a little bit out of position, you can just punish them so hard as this class. Like, it's it's actually kind of nuts. Um, this is going to be a pretty good fight for us to take, I think. We can do a lot of damage here. Yep. And then just cover commander and let my guys get in there and do some work. Um, I'm going to let him kill a few of the enemy troops, and then I'm going to dive in here. Hopefully I'm not too far in the enemy units, but if I am again, I can just get out like that. Um, again, I thought my guys were going to help me, but I guess not. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Actually, those Prefecture Pikes can kill me, so I don't really want to be here anymore, I don't think. Unfortunately, I am going to lose the rest of those guys, but I'm just going to let them do what they can. This guy is actually a little bit out of position here, but maybe not enough. He is a short sword, so he's a little bit too tanky for me to kill. Uh, I'm going to go pick up another unit real quick. I might just pick up a ranged unit. Um, I think I can do better right now just running around and picking up hero kills. So I might just leave a ranged unit down the hallway at B or something like that. Yeah, let's just do Rattans. I'm not sure why I even brought Zakalian Militia. They're going to be kind of hard to micro. Uh, again, you want units that are going to be uh, not too hard to micro because you're going to be very busy yourself. Um, chain Dart, you got to be paying attention at all times. Because it's really all about timing. Like, as soon as they get out of position, you want to be on top of them. So, like, right here, as soon as this guy goes a little too far, I want to jump him. But if I go a little too early, a little too late, either I'm going to die or we're just not going to kill the guy. So, it's all really about timing at this class. I'm going to let those guys clean up them and see what's going on at B. So, I got muskets trying to kill me, so I'm going to see if I can take him out here. This is a really good opportunity for me because my rattans are going to help me kill these guys. Um, if I can just slow him down a little bit, we'll be able to pick up these kills here. Yep, there we go. Um, they are taking A, unfortunately. But I think I want to keep holding B here because my guys are in a good position. I'm just going to try to protect my Rattan Marksman if I can. They do have a bow, so I'm a little worried about that guy. Um, I think I'm going to pull my guys back right now, actually. I think they know my guys are here now, so I'm expecting that they're going to have a bow or a musket go over there and try to kill him. This guy's out of position. I might be able to one-on-one -on -one this guy. Where'd he go? How did I lose him? I completely lost him there. Uh, that was weird. I guess he went up the stairs. Oh no, he went right here. I <laughs> completely lost him. Yeah, unfortunately they're taking B now, but I don't think there's too much I can do by myself uh, to stop that. Could maybe just put a smoke bomb right here so they don't get too far. Um, I am just worried that I need to go move my guys up here. Because if I leave them here, they can just rush up here. So I'm going to go put my guys on C and then I'll go try to get some more hero kills on A if I can. Uh, let's see. Three kills, 60 troop kills right now, so not too bad. Looks like we're just going to fall back to C. I think that's a smart move. I'm just going to leave a smoke cloud here to slow him down a little bit to help our guy escape if I can. And then I'm going to go plop down a ballista right here and see if I can't get a few enemy hero kills as they come up. I think they're going to try to rush here, so I, I do have the opportunity to go kill hero right now, but I'm just not sure if I'll actually be able to. That was a terrible shot for me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Watch out for those Iron Cap Scout Cav. They will absolutely murder me. Um, remember, you do have that ranged ability, so you can just pick off enemy units. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> I got him. Okay, this guy's definitely out of position. Oh, okay. This, I'm out of position. Yep. Okay. That was a mistake. I thought we were going to plug that gap a little bit more than we ended up doing. That was definitely a mistake there. I thought someone was going to go in, but I guess we were just waiting for him. 
I do think we'll be able to stop this though. We're in a pretty good spot here because they're only coming in from this side. So I was a little premature. Um, you kind of, you really need to read your team in those situations because some teams will immediately plug the gap and some teams are just going to wait for them to come in. We are definitely in a situation where we were waiting for them to come in, so I should have realized that and stayed back a little bit. Um, while you do an insane amount of damage to Chain Dart, you are very squishy at the same time, so another bad decision on me there. But we're doing pretty good. Four hero kills, 60 unit kills so far. Um, so we're probably in the top scoring. Uh, we're one of the top scorers this game so far, it looks like. This will be a good point to take out our Zakalian Militia. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I do... I am a little bit worried right here. I might get him killed if I try to go through here. Okay, yeah, this is not a great situation. Uh, okay, shoot. Okay, yeah, I just gotta get past this breach before they see these guys, otherwise they can kill them. Okay, this might be a good pill kill pick up here, if we can get him. Yep, there we go. Nice. And then, well, we should be able to get out, maybe? Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, he did a ton of damage to me. The leap and strike you see did 7,000, scorpion started 8,000, and then what did I get killed by? A bow actually killed me? That's surprising. I guess a bow did a decent amount of damage to me too. Um, I actually wasn't really expecting to die there. I'm kind of used to playing Chained Art more in Golden Era, and my armor keeps me alive a little bit longer than that, but um, yeah, he was able to take me out pretty quickly there. Let's see. We're pretty evenly matched as far as troops go, but their team is definitely not very coordinated. They're kind of just all pushing the uh, the one gate usually. It seems like they're now actually going around, so they're doing a little bit better. We'll have to see if we can stop them here. I'm going to have to play the rest of this game a little bit more carefully because my death timer is now up to a minute, so if I die again, it's, it's not going to put our team in a great position. Um, so I, I at least want to use my units before I die, so worst case scenario, I want to at least use my units before I die like that again. They're actually all over our like spawn here, so I need to spawn back a little bit and then I, char I can charge into these guys here. Actually, I don't really need to spawn it. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to try to get in this gate and then I might charge down. I need to see what the situation is here. Um, okay, they did treb. I need to move back a little bit. Yeah, they're trying to hold us up in our spawn. I think we're gonna be able to stop him here. I'm gonna... Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, I did not see those guys. Oh man. Unfortunately, I didn't get to brace my guys before I died, which is really bad for me. Um. Yeah, I didn't see those other guys. I was really seeing those other two guys at low health and just <laughs> really excited to go pick up those kills, but did not work out like that. So, yeah, I I guess something you kind of see uh, this playing chain dart though, it's very high risk, high reward class. Like you can get an insane amount of hero kills, but if you misplay just a little bit, you'll just die instantly. So unlike a heavy armor class, like heavy armor class, you know, harder to get kills, but you can get out of a lot of situations pretty easily, so your mistakes aren't very punished. Chain Dart, if you make one little mistake like that, you will just die instantly. So, definitely, I would say a higher skill cap class. You just, you really have to get used to, like, when you should engage, when you should engage, when you should not engage. I mean, a good rule of thumb would be, if they have a lot of enemy troops, just, just don't go in at all. Just... Try to only stick to hero fighting if you can at all possible, or just stay in the back and throw out your stinging strike. That would be the only advice I have for you, but as you can see, even I don't uh, play this class perfectly um, a lot of the times. So let's see if we can get back in there. We're still holding C pretty well, I think. I'm trying to see if we're going to be able to hold C or if we need to back up. Um, it looks to me like we're going to be able to hold it. I'm very wary of going in right now. I don't want to die again, but I think I can go in here. I'm just going to back up. I just really trying not to die again, so I'm going to be very selective about what fights I take now. So I'm basically only going to fight in the back lines here. 
or if we have overwhelming presence like we do now. So yeah, I mean, we got a lot of guys here, so should be pretty safe. I'm gonna try to bring my Zipline Militia up here. This is gonna be a really good blob to hit if I can. Oh, shit. I did not mean to use my one ability. I meant to use my two ability, but all right, we're just gonna have to commit to this now. Now that I kind of did that on accident, I'm just gonna commit this. I wanted to kill those archers in the back, which now I'll be able to do. Um, so that should kill a lot of them there. But I definitely did not mean to use my one ability there, unfortunately. But either way, we got a lot of kills. Um, definitely stopped that push pretty well, but we did end up losing our guys. I definitely could have used my guys a little more effectively there. I kind of just let them die for no reason. I should have. I could have either gone up onto the ramparts or um, kept them in the back a little bit. But I'm just going to go ahead and drop another Ballista. Again, I'm just going to be very careful about what I do here. Um, try to pick off enemy heroes like this instead of dying again. But maybe uh, I almost reached that guy. You can sometimes get crazy grapples like up and down the wall, um, which is pretty fun to do. Uh, looks like this. Oh, that guy was almost very out of position. I'm also just going to put down smoke. It can be nice to do to stop a push like this from coming in. Just slows them down. Um, looks like they're about to push. I'm going to have to be very careful here. Um, don't want to get caught out again. So I'm gonna just going to stay in the back lines here. So what you're going to want to do is just kind of stay back. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just find someone who's weak to pick off. Like this guy's in a bad position. Um, this guy probably doesn't even need my help. Oh my god, I missed him. Um, but yeah, just find the guys in the back lines. Help your guys take him out. And then you can just sit here and throw your stinging strikes out, and it actually does uh, pretty decent damage also. Um, just be wary of advancing ahead of your team, like right here. I really do not want to get too far ahead of my team here. I will die very quickly. So I'm just going to kind of sit in the back, throw out my stinging strikes until we push up more. Just try to dodge these trebs if I can. Maybe even heal up over here. And then I'm about to jump on these guys. We're about to push through completely. So now is the time to hop in and secure these kills. Um, those are all assassins. So I'm just being a little cautious. But I think I can get this guy. Oh, maybe not. I thought I could get that guy. But he went invisible and I couldn't see where he went. But yeah, it's almost the end of the game here. I mean, yeah, these guys basically stand no chance at this point. But you can see, even though like I just was not playing that great this game, you can kind of see the killing potential of this class, like what it can do. Really good at securing enemy hero kills. Not very good at killing enemy troops, honestly, but you still can kind of sit in the back with your stinging strike ability and at least do something. Uh, I missed my dismount there, so I'm not going to be able to do anything here. They're really trying to gang up on me here. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could kill that guy, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to. But I can get this guy. But yeah, that should give you an idea of what Chain Dart's all about, really. Um, definitely not perfect game. I've had a lot better games. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see what the class can do. Really good hero assassin class. Really not good if there's a lot of enemy troops. Do not go into those big blob fights. As you can see, you'll die very quickly, so just kind of stay away from that. But otherwise, stay in the duels, stay in the back lines, and you'll pick up a ton of kills in your games. All right, let, let me know in the comments, guys, if this was helpful. Let me know what else you want to see. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you out in the battlefield.